So um, let's go ahead and start taking a dive into virtual wholesaling just to make sure, sure everybody understands what we're talking about. Cause some people have different definitions of wholesaling. What is your definition of a wholesale deal and what's it look like? So a wholesale deal to me is really just looking at acquiring the deal. Now I, a couple different things on this day. One, I can turn around and actually just control the deal with a contract to purchase or an option to purchase. And then I can assign my rights in that agreement to another party. So somebody just steps into my shoes and takes over that. And all they do is pay me uh, basically what we call an assignment fee for putting that deal together. Now, another way that we can wholesale too, is we can actually do what we call like a double close. Right. So we can go in, we can find a buyer. We actually take title to that. And then we immediately sell it to another party. It could be, it typically it's done a lot of times at the same closing table, or it might be within an hour or two, maybe a day afterwards. So that's typical wholesale. I'm buying low and selling low, but I'm, I'm creating that, I'm kind of that middle person. I'm marking it up a little bit more and then selling, still allowing enough meat on the bone for the rehabber <clears throat> or the individual that's going to buy it to rent it out to acquire the property. And it, that allows them to make money as well. So your buyers of your wholesale deals are other real estate investors that may be a landlord. It may be, um, it may be a rehabber. And as you said, you're going to leave enough meat on the bone. In other words, enough profit for the other real estate investor that you're either assigning to or uh, selling to for them to do what we call taking the deal down and seeing it right on through to the end. Is that right? hundred percent. You know, what's funny too, Jay though, is in today's market, we're finding a lot of our buyers too are owner occupants. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, everybody thinks uh, they, well, the owner occupant doesn't have that cash. You got to throw that out of your head. There's a lot of them walking around with a lot of cash and I love them even better than the investors because they'll pay more money. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, the area that you're investing in is, well, you're, you're doing the virtual wholesaling. So what, how many different markets are you in? So we're, uh, we're in Ohio, we're in Kentucky. We're also doing uh, some deals in New Mexico and, um, and some in Indiana as well. Now we're getting ready to actually, we're going to, our path this year, our goal is to add two markets per quarter. Wow. Yeah. So, so you're really going to be, you're really going to be scaling this business.